Thank you so much for your company this morning. Uh, her show, Cat Lady in Waiting, was a finalist for Best Newcomer at the New Zealand International Comedy Festival last year. She's also a regular face on our television screens and on the comedy circuit. Donna Brooke Banks is with us now to tell us more about her latest Comedy Fest offering. You do you, babes. Great to have you on the show, Donna. Thank you so yes, much for having me. Mike and I were just having this conversation. We thought you'd been on before because we see you on everything. You're on Funny Girls, you're on Joe and Ben, you're on everything all of the time. No. But not only are you a comedian, mm -hmm. you're also an actor. And you spent some time in New York. Yeah, that's right. I studied for two years there. What was that so, like? Oh, it was insane. It was so much fun. Um, I came home broke. <laughs> and like transparently white from <laughs> you know <laughs> never seeing the sun um, but it was so much fun it was so cool yeah I went to a really great acting school there well I'm pleased they didn't you know keep you and they sent you back to us because oh, we yeah. enjoy all your work oh. how did you get into comedy ah I actually got so I always wanted to be like a serious actor, you know, mm. like a real serious actor. And then <laughs> I went down to the court theatre in Christchurch and did a play down there. And they've got a really amazing improv group down there called the Jesters. And so I did a couple of workshops with them. And I was like, oh my gosh, we don't have anything like this in Auckland. And so me and a couple of mates got together and started Snort. Snort. Which yes. is our improv troupe here in Auckland and um, most of them are all stand-up comedians and actors and so they were like, you've got to try stand-up, you've got to try stand-up. I was like, I can't, I can't. Oh, no, it'd be daunting, yeah. I reckon, So scary, yes. so scary. So it's, what was your first one like? like the first one I ever did was at um, Golden Dawn, the now defunct RIP yeah, um, it was a good bar spot. <laughs> <laughs> in Ponsonby. We did a... Um, fundraiser I think it was for we go to Melbourne every year for the comedy festival and we were doing a fundraiser for that and so I tried it there and it actually went okay. See fundraiser is great because you know fundraiser therefore people have to laugh. Either, right? You know? Yeah. It's the way you know, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Raising money. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> now speaking of Melbourne, Snort has been performing at the Melbourne International Comedy Festival for a number of years now. What is it like performing to a mostly Australian audience? Is it easier or harder? It's harder only because the audiences there are smaller right. than what we're used to. Wow. We're so lucky here in Auckland, we sell out every week. Great. Over there, this is our fourth year being there, and I feel like this year was the first year that we've actually started making a really amazing mark there. Right, and you can see you got the vibe in the room, which yeah. helps with the improv. Yeah, really. totally. Yeah. Is, it, is it just because there's such a lot on offer over there that they just need to get to know you a bit before they Yeah, leave the I think so. There's, so, there's something like 2,000 shows or something in the Melbourne Comedy Festival. It's wow. insane. Wow. And, but also I think because people like Guy Montgomery and Rose Matafeo are doing amazing work over there and they're part of Snort so people see them in their show and then they come to our show and we get guest comedians in and so they, we kind of try and link it all up. So yeah. Snort's like a revolving cast of, of yeah, there's comedians. Yeah 15 of us I think in the cast and um, it's kind of like who's in the country at the moment and can play that week and then yeah. Well, it's a great thing with the Comedy Fest here, very supportive of local acts, you know. People go and see there more than they yeah. potentially would the overseas acts, which yeah. is a good testament to your ability. OK, you are a writer and a performer on Funny Girls, which everyone loves. It's good, eh? Uh, what's it like putting that together? Uh, it's such a fun time. <laughs> it is very silly. We're all mates, and a lot of them are in Snort as well, so we just we get to just sit around a table and make up like really stupid ideas. That's great. <laughs> and then we film them. Yeah, and I'm fun. like, I feel like someone's going to go, OK, you've had your fun now. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, living. And yeah. you're also pretty much all of you are also in the Breaker Uppers as well. Yeah. Which is yeah. That, you, that, you notice that oh, pretty brilliant. much the whole cast of yes. Funny Girls yeah. is in there somewhere. Yeah. Was that a fun experience? It was so much fun because Mads and Jackie are both have, they've had, um, they have either directed or are in Funny Girls, mm. and so we've we've all worked with them before, and it was so amazing that they put all these local people in the show, like tried to fit as many people in as they could everywhere, and I just played a drunk bride to be. You graded it too. Real strange. Real yeah. strange. <laughs> 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 okay, tell us about your show, You Do You Babes, because we love the title. Tell Thanks. us more about it. What is it about? Um, so it's kind of about um, being me, awkward old me in my 30s, and having a cat, and being single, and socially awkward, and trying to live my best life, you know? Like, hashtag best life, right? So, right, so you just do you, babes? Yeah, I just do me. And mm. it's sketch, and it's stand-up, and it's very fun. My mum's going to be very upset, though. 
because she's kind of like the cat lady in waiting at the moment. Oh. Mum Donna is stealing that title off you. No, no. Well, my mum's crazy cat lady as well. Oh, I'm sure there's room for how one can, more. Can be, hang on, hang on. Sorry, Mike's mum, but how can you be the cat lady in waiting and the crazy cat lady at the same time? Uh, well, that's that's a good point. Yeah, she's what I aim to <laughs> there be. There you go. One day. <laughs> Don't worry, mum. Your daughter's inspiration. <laughs> she's at the shrine. Yeah. <laughs> so part of your, your tagline is uh, characters, physical comedy, yeah. weird facial movements. If you tell. Can yeah. you do one? Like, you know, come on. When we, when you say, if you say you sing, you have to sing on the show. So if you say you can do oh, facial yeah. movements, you have to do some on the show. How's that? Yeah, oh, yeah, good. Yeah, you ought to see the weird that. facial movements <laughs> she was doing when you were talking <laughs> And so is it just you? Is it is, yeah, it's just you it's on just stage? Me. Yeah. But my friend Hamish Parkinson, who is also, he's an, um, Billy, he won the Billy T couple of years ago, um, he's helping me with it and um, so it's got a little bit of his influence in there as well. So comedy festival wise for you, mm. uh, do you get to go and see other people's shows as yeah. well? So who are you really looking forward to? Okay, well I saw Guy Montgomery and he was insanely amazing but you can't see him anymore because it's finished so that's, but Rose Montefeo, her show, really excited, Alice Sneddon, her show, really excited, she's also a Billy T nominee so I shouldn't say that, but I am. Do you think it's that. more difficult to be a female comedian in New Zealand, or is it actually becoming more of an even platform? I think it's becoming more even, and it's really exciting. Like the Billy T nominees, there are, there's what is there? One, two, three, four women, um, a gay man, and one straight white guy who's half of the women. Right. What? No, it sounds like the start it's of a good joke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they oh, we're on a plane. plane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But what is it so about cool. New Zealand? Because I get the sense that the community is really tight knit. Super tight. They're very supportive of each other yeah. and exceptionally talented. Yeah. Well, what is it that makes that work so well? I, I just think everyone's so supportive. I don't know. Oh. Like, everyone's all. All, within all my comedy friends, everyone's like, oh, you want to run your show? Or you want to talk about a joke? Nice. Or you want to get together and write? It's, 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 uh, that is really awesome. Yeah. But that's great. It may that be a little good. bit like yeah. more making, but it's so good. Yeah. Because, and also, I think the public supports it too. Yeah. Hey, well, we're yeah. really looking forward to seeing your show, actually. Thank Donna you. Donna is performing her show, You Do You Babes. You, you do can't you say babes. it without saying you like can't. that. You Do You Babes in Wellington and <laughs> Auckland over the next few weeks. You can check out the Comedy Fest website for ticket details. You can also catch her at Last Laughs, which is the last hurrah of the festival on the 20th of May.